Alright, here we go. Something new, something new. Starting the Metro series with this one. Survival with ammo and filters and short supply, deadlier combat, and more challenging stealth. Survival style offers players the original survival horror oriented experience in Metro 2033. Emphasis on resource management and intense combat. Spartan enjoy the more forgiving combat and self experience of Metro Last Light. When Spartan style is selected, perfect players who like faster pace, more action oriented gameplay, ammo, uh, filters, and other resources are, all, are also more plentiful. Um, let's go with survival. The tunnel grew colder. Miller and I were close to the surface now. Soon, we would climb up into the howling wind to find our way through whatever nightmares were waiting there. My long journey was nearly at the end. But would I have the courage, the will to see it through? When you left your home station, the other thing will end up in a place like this. Not knowing whether we were about to save our world or send it straight to hell. Gotcha. We'll have to get through the military outpost to reach the surface. Dude, dude, dude. So he's moving into this hole. Open the gate, I'll cover. This is cool. Let's close that. There's nobody among the warriors fighters who ever lived that expedition. Why would they risk their lives save us, total strangers to them? But or perhaps they just, as I do, believe that the Dark Ones are a threat, not for just our uh, God-forgotten backwater station, but for the Metro as a whole. Why well, that I don't know, but one thing I know for sure, I can't watch these people uh, and not feel admiration. They couldn't care less which station we hailed from. Um, which God and which politics we believe. The one thing they actually care about was that we were human beings and we were in danger when joining the order. Uh, one vows to protect the Metro, the last uh, refuge of human race to the end. Some of them believe they can prevail. A lot more think we're all doomed regardless, but they don't 
uh, even think of laying down their arms and giving up struggle. Such were Hunter's uh, comrades, but and it would be the highest honor for me to become one of them. Open the door. I'll cover you. One second. Any bitch without the doubt in the group move out, over. Well, 
Artyom, <laughs> wake at last, I see. Hunter's on his way in. He should have news from the other stations. Come on. Shit. 
I'm not giving up. What's your plan for the dog? Hand them all down and shoot them. Hello, Arton. Can't survive much longer if these attacks don't stop. We must do something. What more can we do? The dark ones will kill us all. We'll see what Hunter says. Have you seen my Hello, Arthur. Every other patrol was attacked last night. The hospital's full. My brother is in the hospital. No Oh, that's you. Come on, Alex. Hello, Arjo. People want to see their relatives. How are the wounded? Uh, not much improvement. Two died this morning. The dark ones do not kill us, right? They take the victim's mind. Sooner or later, it leads to death. Still not first. Open the damn gate. Welcome to exhibition, Hunter. Thanks. Now close your kit. Okay. Most of what I hear is about the exhibition and the undead infesting the tunnels. Artyom, I met a trader selling old postcards of New York City. I thought of your wall. These are not the usual mutant creatures. This is something else. What the hell? Something much worse. <laughs> Dark ones. Well. Whatever in hell they are, my order has a motto. If it's hostile, you kill it. It's all the shaft. They're coming in from above. Shit. Just what we need. There are wounded here just behind the wall. The Kirill, hall. take your group to the tunnels. Alex, Alex, we must stay here and defend the hall. All right, all right. Quickly get away. Get away. come this far into this station. It's the hospital. They smell the blood.
did I shot this one? No dark ones here. Just the usual tunnel trash. Even when you don't see them, the dark ones are there. Fear. That's their weapon. That's what made the Nosoluses run through the tunnels like rats. The dark ones are not simple mutants. They're homo novice, the next step in evolution. You've heard about survival of the fittest? Guess what? We lost. Yeah. What's happened to you, Alex? You can go like lambs to the slaughter. I'll hang on to whatever life I got with teeth and claws. And I'll take more than a few of your homo novice with me to hell. You think you're some old movie cowboy? Have a look, Hunter. Ten soldiers, trained in combat. Bodies broken, their minds gone. The Dark Lords! We destroyed the Outer Guard Post! <laughs> Day our patrols go out uh, to the northern tunnels, and day at, and day after day they return, um, bearing casualties, murdered brutally, brutally and expectably so. Even more uh, casualties, to me, come back alive, but insane. And yet, it's only by sending our friends, neighbors, and relatives out there that we could keep the dark ones at a distance, and we run out of manpower to stop their attacks far enough. Uh, when they arrive at the station itself, we'll be done for. I hear people talking secretly at 
uh, station that it's just us prolonging the agony that there's no hope for salvation but uh so so my stepfather and the head of the station so uh, hopes for a miracle he insists that an old friend of his hunter can save us hunter is a member of the spartan order a battle brotherhood sworn to protect him metro from any and all danger there is nothing capable of instilling fear into the hearts of those men at least there was nothing until the dark ones arrived next mission The task of defending our home station from the Dark One's enemies, horrifying, mysterious, and unbeatable, is becoming the sole focus of all of our efforts. We've all but forgotten our old enemies, the uh, Nozellies and the Watchmen, and if not for Hunter, these beasts would have been unleashed on our hospital. I cringe to think of the carnage that would ensue uh, should Hunter have uh, arrived a mere hour too late. Sorry, Artem. This part of the station is under temporary lockdown. Only the guards may pass. Hey, that's some nice music. Hey, uh, where did you get that bagel? Got it from a ranger for a ton of ammo. Hey, you're sure you don't it's regret it? I am Why do I put up in it? Blink, Blink, told me to give oh, away something else. Now. How about. <laughs> How about the house where you'd like to live with your mom and dad? Oh, come on. Ha <laughs> ha! No! Shit! Three. If your mom comes back, you will do it. That two guy comes over and says, If my wife could prove like me, I'd be the happiest man in the world. If mom's going to come back. So I ask him, Can you join us at all? And he says, Actually, I'm not married. Uh, Nobody home! So don't worry, bro. They're everywhere. Just dirt. People are filthy, you know? Liars, hypocrites. Is that traitors, you, Pete? What? You saying that I'm dirt? Open it, Gaston. Fill your shit, okay? <laughs> Lost the keys again. <laughs>
<laughs> what does he give? No, go to the armory and get geared up. Hello, Arthur. So, what do you make of that new guy? He seems completely... Hello, Hello. Arthur. You need some weapons? Okay, let's take a look. Submachine gun, 5.45 caliber, made in the armory. It's got poor accuracy and overheats like hell. That's why they call it a bastard gun. <laughs> Use short bursts, Artyom. Help yourself to some ammo, too. Here's a universal charger to keep the battery powered. And a gas mask. Put it on if you cross any radiation hot zones. Or, God help you, go up to the surface. Army issue first aid kits, just in case. Okay, you're supplied, my friend. Feel free to try out your weapon on my firing range. And, uh, you try not to stick out your head too much, okay? Come in, son. You're ready to set off. Good. You've probably heard that our station is creating an alliance with Ria. We're sending them a couple of rail cars with humanitarian goods, some weapons, and some miscellaneous gear. That's the cargo you'll be looking after. It's not a very long trip, and it should not be too hard. Artyom, one thing before you go. I can see that you look up to Hunter, but a ranger's life is different than ours. They are reckless, even violent by nature. There's nothing to be gained by playing the hero, so stay clear of trouble. See the caravan to its destination and come home as soon as possible. Goodbye, my boy. sometimes. <laughs> I can do that. Let's go then. Alrighty then. Good luck to everyone staying home. And to us too. What? Let's go. Good luck to us. So, are you ready to finally be somewhere else? Whoa! Atyomka! 
Free at last, huh? Well, but as long as the right things, anyway. Should be fun. More dangerous. Keep even better, right? Good. It was the first time I had left the safety of my home station. It troubled me that I hadn't told my stepfather the truth. I would not be heading straight back from Riga. But Hunter was depending on me. So, where are you from? Riga. I'm making the rounds, buying merchandise. Well, I'm glad you've seen a few places then. Yeah, the market is right go, next go, to Riga, go. and that's a big metro already. I used to make regular trips to police, but getting there now requires a lot of luck. That or being from Hansa. Oh, I love to ride okay. that thing. Hansa connects to the whole metro and has a lot of stations, but doesn't welcome outsiders. And if it's not Hansa, then you have to go through the Reds, the Nazis, or your regular bandits. And these guys are really going at it lately. If they're not fighting everyone else, they're boring with each other. You have to use the service tunnel bypassing Alexievska. Ah, fuck. I hate this tunnel. All right, Peter. Open up the gate. No point being stuck here forever. Why? Well, what's wrong with the tunnel? Well, it's an ordinary tunnel. Not as well lit, maybe. I went through that last month and, well, I just don't like it. That's all. I love to see you. Oh. When Hunter arrived at an expedition just on time, I like to think that was not just blind luck, that it was fate at work, and that it was the same fate that made Hunter choose me to travel to Polis with his report on a dark one. It seems that I've dreamt of visiting Polis, the great legendary center of the metro, the center of our civilization my whole life. But a chance to actually make that dream come true just had uh, come by by now of all times when my home train, uh, home station desperately uh, heeds uh, every fighter I can uh, feel. Do I have the right to abandon my adopted father, my parent, my friends in an hour of danger? Where is my place uh, next to uh, them on the barricade or at the far station where Hunter sends me? I don't know for sure. I still set on a journey. I'd like to believe that I'm summoned by fate.
was only the first stop on my journey, but the caravan went no further. So, before parting ways, we drank to celebrate our survival. The vodka didn't drown my fear of traveling on to Polis alone, but I was about to find myself with an unexpected and notorious partner. boys let's train to our friend Artyom who goes right through monsters and anomalies alike to Artyom to you hell if not for you Artyom we'd have been shredded like cabbage you deserve a medal <laughs> or at least some extra ammo here take them to you Adieu, to you! Adieu, you really immune to that shit? See if that shroom vodka knocks him down, huh? <laughs> okay, we've got to check that. To our luck, and to our job. To you. Yeah, we're turning again. Vodka kicks everyone's ass, huh? So tell me. I thought all the markets closed down and I was lost to death sitting here on my ass. We best for some kind I of... I lost my ride, right, bitch! Let me out of the station! Hey, what the hell is getting my shit on top? Our friend Artyom, 
But I got my orders. So you were shooting the bitches. And I think about we made it through one. My stuff is the best around, because it's the only stuff around. Strange shadows and voices, whispers, weeps. They were silent, yet they still resound inside my head. There, was a lot, there were lots of tunnels in the metro associated with terrifying legends, but I've never heard anything quite like this, and I hope I'll never uh, anything like this from now on. We got incredibly lucky in escaping that place with our lives. Yes, we did. Are you Artyom? 
Hey, there's a man at the Black Street waiting for you. I'll guide you there for one bullet. Thanks. Let's go. Hey, let's go. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Hey. Thanks. Where are you? Oh my god! Where are you? Oh. Thanks. Over there. Well, I'll be going. Bye. Come here. You're our team, right? Sit down. Nothing worse than a chance fellow traveler, but nobody else uh, to rely on either. This bourbon guy surely is strange. Why would he need me? He obviously knows these tunnels like back of his hand. Somebody told him that shit does not affect me, and he bought it. I don't believe it myself, and he, and he, uh, and he does. Well, no use thinking about it. I'll be quite happy if he just gets me past the market without trying to quietly snuff me in a dark tunnel. Come here. You're our team, right? Everybody calls me Bourbon. Listen, I need to get to Dry Station for some business, but this rat hole is on lockdown. I, however, know a back way. A so-called cursed passage the locals are afraid to use. But I hear the shit in the tunnels doesn't work on you. So, you help me get to Dry, I'll give you my AK when we get there. Deal? Good. Here's an advance payment, in case you need to gear up first. Are you ready? Just make it short.
Or say good run. That would be nice. Hey, baby. You like what you see? Actually, yes. I'll show you a good time. Special prize for you. Right. Okay. Um, Come with me, sweetie. Um, Prepare for a surprise, big boy. As far as the dog. Now, close your eyes and wait for a big surprise. Yo, what? <laughs> what? You dumbass! Everyone knows not to go with Nikki. And that really packs a punch, no? <laughs> My pockets were empty. Looks like your pockets were empty. That's what you get. What? So now what? Oh no, wait, man. They stole my shit. Ah, oh, you shouldn't have trusted that bitch. Oh man. Damn. I got really level on my ass. Damn. So now I have no money to spend on anything? Shit. How do I get my money back? Or is that not possible? Some way to get back, right? At least I would think. Damn. I knew there was something up, man. Really jack my shit. She dipped too. I believe in the basically told me I'll you know, fuck you and everything you stand for. It literally took all my money. Like, I thought they were just saying that. Like, oh, you're dead out of serious. And that boy was just like, that's what you get. Like, you should never trust her. Like, damn. Fuck. Fuck me, I guess. Because I have no other choice than, than, the, than to go where I'm supposed to go because I have no money to dip all of it. Just like you dumbass, like never trust her, like ever. Like, Alright, I guess I'll just go to the guy. Damn, that sucks. I was actually gonna buy some shit. Are you ready? No choice now. Sitting in this crap hall is useless.
As I entered the abandoned tunnel with Bourbon, I wondered if I'd been wrong to trust him. But the station gates were still sealed, and there was no telling when I'd have another chance to leave Riga. Great, we broke free. Now keep your eyes peeled. The handcar ride is over. Lots of tough guys died in these tunnels. But if we watch each other's backs, we'll get there. Just a single lurker. They rarely attack groups of people. But if you're alone, watch your ass. What the shit?
I, I don't even know what just happened. I'm at a loss for what just happened. I really don't know. prevent that how do you prevent that what the fuck what come on man there should be some way to prevent that cause I was about to leave and then all of a sudden something got me your steps and you crunch your back to give you away. Oh, I tripped. 
barricade themselves. Short, we need to get closer. Can you take down the patrol? Look what the This is so cool. The bridge is a nasty place, so here's the plan. I'll keep you covered and you watch my back. If we work together, we'll make it. But don't blame your boy. I mean, no room to get killed today. Bourbon is definitely not as simple as he tries to seem. Yes, he is rude and his sense of humor is rough at best, but the things he tells 
about his exploits and even more the things he prefers not to tell prove he is way too sharp for a regular smuggler. His knowledge of the situation, not just at, at the nearest station, but even the ring as a whole, is mind-boggling. All the passages and tunnels, even the long abandoned ones, are well known to him. He is uh, quite at home in combat, which means he saw his share of dangerous encounters. He's definitely much more than a regular smuggler, of that I'm sure. I agree. Certain things he's not telling us.
counting on you, kid. Come on. <laughs> nice little grill. I promise you, dear, I will come back and lubricate you. Mm. So get your new paint. Oh, the great door. I hear you are calling me.
Market like this, you could buy almost anything. But Bourbon owed money to the Hansa sentries and was anxious to leave. Alright, so I'm gonna end it there. Thank you for watching because I have to go to sleep. <laughs> uh, but thank you for watching um, Metro 2033. It's an awesome game so far. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.